In this one, I'll be making the biggest mistake of my playthrough so far, like an absolute dum-dum. Let's see if you can spot it as we go through this part. Plus, there'll be a catfight in camp, and I'll be going to the Mushroom Kingdom as I work my way through the awesome quests of the Underdark. Hi, I'm Mad Morph, and this is my full walkthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. I thought I'd probably get through the Underdark in one part, but it's actually really, really huge, and there's lots of things to explore and discover, and I want to keep taking my time and finding all of the cool things down here for this series. I hope you're still enjoying this series. These videos take a really long time to edit and to play, obviously, so I hope that you are. Please do let me know if you are in a comment, and hit like and subscribe for more, and let's continue with Baldur's Gate 3. You carry a Githyanki relic. I will have an explanation. Or your head. Walk away. Now. I won't warn you again. The girls are fighting. Relic? This is about the artifact. What's going on? Stop squabbling. Watch the argument unfold. Let's let this happen. You have something precious to my kin. An heirloom. I will have it burnt. Heirloom. Plunder from some conquered realm, more like. This artifact is the only thing keeping us from becoming slaves to our parasites. Be glad I have it. That's true. I do not wish to spill blood here. Come daylight, we will find a place to end this. Fine. You can accept your wrong, or we'll be rid of you permanently. Either way, I win. Hmm. I would have liked another opportunity to interject there. I didn't mean to let it go on to the point you of a... You had every chance to look the other way. But here we are. You chose this. Spare me the justifications, coward! If anyone asks, I'll say you were transforming. Don't expect to be mourned. Baby, stop. This isn't you. <laughs> Do nothing. Move to attack Shadowheart. Shadowheart, stop. You don't have to do this. Oh my god, I kind of want to let her do it. I kind of want to let her do it. Oh no. Oh, it's the urge. It's the dark urge inside me. Maybe I should let her. We might need her still, though. Let me just save it and see what happens. Do nothing. Oh. My. God. Now we've both brutally murdered someone in camp at night. Bonded forever. Wow. Take this slain foe as a gift, blessed night singer. Usher her into your darkness. <sighs> oh my gosh. Where is the body? Very oh well. my god. That's crazy. Okay. I feel like we're going to keep Lazel though because... Obviously, the Githyanki are kind of important to this story. But if I was doing a full evil playthrough, oh my god, just like evil lovers with Shadowheart, just killing people in camp left, right, and center, and then making out afterwards. I don't know. Kind of hot. Right. Let's keep <laughs> Lacelle alive. What a way to start the episode. I'm just trying to long rest and make my way into the Underdark here. Yeah. Oh, I need to uh, go further back, it seems. You had every chance. If anyone asks, I'll say you were transforming. Let's hit that persuasion. Don't expect to be warned. Yes. She's a liability. It's the artifact we need, not her. Let me up. And I'll show you. Uh, 
Uh, we need her shadow heart. Give her a chance. Can I do that, Lazel? Can I turn my back on you? Never. Thieves aren't afforded such luxury. Loosen the grip on your pride for one blasted moment, won't you? We needn't be enemies. There's plenty of those to go around already. What would you have? That we be friends? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. You don't have enough friends. <laughs> Imagine what we might achieve if we channeled some of that hostility back at our real foes, instead of each other. They wouldn't stand a chance. <sighs> Sticking together. Keep the gang alive. Come on, guys. We're all good. Pave my path with corpses. Better check Build in. my castle with bones. First in my heart. I don't think there'll be any more trouble between Lazelle and I. If Did my character just say first in my heart when I clicked on Shadow Heart? I love that. Now. Well, apart from all the rest. Don't let a star in here. I'd rather keep things friendly. You have an interesting definition of friendly, but yes. Well, I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of hot. Check in with Lazel. Speak. Right, just wanted to check you were okay about your quarrel there. It is over where I am concerned. All right, well, that's a relief, isn't it? We won't survive if we don't stand together. It is through conflict that we strengthen our bonds. Oh. Yet I do not recommend Shadowheart seek it again. I like the next resolution may not end in her favor. I like that culturally she's like, eh, it's fine. Ah, I kind of want to bring her with me, actually, for a little bit of those two together then. A little bit of bonding time. Do you mind just, like, stepping out for a minute, Karlak? Very glad Shadowheart and Lazelle settled things without letting any blood. I would have enjoyed the spectacle, but not losing either one of those lunatics. Yeah, I'm kind of with you there. Can you just stay behind oh, for a minute? Come on. You don't mean that. I oh, do. Fine. I really appreciate you, but I just I feel like they need a little bit of bonding time. Speak. And we haven't given Lazel a chance really yet, so let's go ahead and uh It is done. Have you come with? And do you have any levels madness. or anything? No. Okay. Let's Great theme. Go ahead and have my brain eaten by some more illicit power, yes. With... Once per turn, make an attack roll. The attack reduces the target's corresponding ability by one. Stage Fright. Targets have a disadvantage on attack rolls and take 2 to 12 psychic damage each time they miss for three turns. That sounds cool. Have my brain be munched. And I will uh, charm an enemy that attacks me. I feel like it's a really bad idea letting these eat my brain, but it's fine. Oh, hello. What's up, Will? Will's brows furrow as your minds connect. He sees the burning embers of Joaquin's rest, then Floric's face as she tells you of Raven God's abduction. Hells! Older Raven God's been taken! Yes, Drow set fire to the inn and stole away with the Duke. Then we need to seek him out and get him to safety. You see, Grand Duke Ravenguard is my father. Whoa. I know I haven't said. Our relation was no matter of pride, not least for him. Let's get some daddy issues in this game. Love it. Aren't you worried? Your father's been abducted. More than worried in truth. What makes a Duke of Baldur's Gate so interesting to the drow? Even the houses of Menzo Baranzin would have little use for my father. Hmm. No, this is no drow plot. These absolute nutters, nice. these true souls are behind his abduction. His absence alone will sow chaos in the city. If they were to infect him, he could lead Baldur's Gate to ruin. All the more reason to find him. 
The Absolute has seized not just my father, but the future of the Sword Coast. Hmm. Okay. I don't want to tell you that you shouldn't keep secrets. Everyone's allowed secrets. Oh, I really thought Shadowheart and Lazel might fight to the death over that artifact. <laughs> a pity. It would have made for a fine night's entertainment. I do like you. Let's see what everyone has to say about it. Anyone else? Gail, you want to weigh in with your two pence here? Oh, also, let me do speak. I'll say one thing for our troop. We're not short on drama. No, we're not. I'm glad Shadowheart and Lazel settled their differences peacefully. Eventually. Good. And you? You wish to speak? No, oh, nothing to say on it. Or right. oh, I feel like he would be interesting in the Underdark because he knows a lot about it, but also I'm a druid, you're a druid. I guess I could respec you if I wanted you there for story reasons, but who would I swap you with? Like, Astarian and Shadowheart are just my forevers, like I have to. And I did say I would take Lazel, so... I guess I'll press on with that. Sorry, Halson. Maybe in another life. Down into the underdark. I don't want to waste too much time building her up, because if there isn't conversation so, for her... Have we buried the hatchet, Lazel? Oh, here we no. go. Why would I bury a weapon? Is it broken? It's a metaphor. I do not know your metaphor. But if you need help digging, I will find a shovel. That's quite Drax of her, that, isn't it? They're taking it literally. It's almost like autistic coded. Why would I bury a weapon? Okay. Well, we've been here before. So let's make our way down to where we were and continue on from there. From where we fought the what to do creature in the old mushroom kingdom. Oh, speaking of. Ah, yeah, it was these that were, uh... Hell of a combination. Get confused by one, blown by the other. Hello? Who are we missing? There's a star in. You good? You good, babe? <laughs> Having a moment. Come on. Can you not move from where you are? Do we have to spend so long poking about down? I'd much well, rather take care outside. of this. Lazel, step skin. back. You've only just come to tolerate sun, and you're already nostalgic. If you want to um, away, by all means, return topside. <clears throat> you could use the color. Uh, uh, right. All right. Rather than go back, I'm just going to use the scroll of revive. <laughs> Goodness me. Right. Bloody short resting already, are we? Okay. And then some potions. Thanks for that, Astarian. Okay. Let's proceed. Oh, hello. What's all this? Myconoids. Mushroom people. Alright, better save it. What's going on? Alice in Wonderland. I've been watching you fight, Shadowheart. You are swallowed by a chorus of turbulent music. Through one creature sing many voices. Disgusting. The harmony of an entire collective. Sovereign, she has come. She is here. The choir fades. A single melody rises above the others. Brassy and commanding. I am sovereign. You see a vision. Your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. The sovereign is threatening you. State your purpose. 
Hmm, focus on your parasite, connect with the sovereign, tell the truth of the parasite, you seek safe passage, I'm a traveller. Seek understanding, focus on the sovereign's song. Let's do that. Insight, roll. Oh my gosh. Almost. You detect a distinct quiver in every note. These creatures have experienced recent tragedy. Hmm. I sense your fear. I've come to aid you. Fungal roots weave through your mind, seeking your true intent. Then the Sovereign drones a new melody. Cautious, but welcoming. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward. Well, I have to pick up lines twenty twenty three. Sovereign expects you. Let us speak in flesh. <laughs> God. Hi, hello, hello. No, they don't want to talk to me. Mushroom kind of got a... No? No. <laughs> mushroom cake. Well, that's a bulbous mushroom, isn't it? Who's this? Why are you bellowing when I have speak with animals? Did it because I died? Did I lose it? Want oh. master back? He treats me good now. Doesn't kick me anymore. Hmm. We can get you help. Seems the shrooms are letting in more people every day. You see a fella on his own on your way in. Dwarf. Balin's his name. You just knew she was going to be Irish from her face, right? Hmm. What are you doing down here? Right now. Waiting for that idiot Balin's return. Unless you've seen him, we don't have much to discuss. Sure, I've met him. Never mind. Idiot's probably wandered someplace else since. You see him again, tell him to get back here to me. He's overdue as it is. Okay, I was glad that didn't. Who is he to you? My useless husband. Sent him for an errand. It's no surprise he's made a mess of it. Need some help finding him? Knock yourself out. But don't come begging for coin if you find him. You try to ransom him to me. You'll find yourself skint and stuck with a fat old lout. You're a trader, eh? Well. Looks like you have some decent stuff. I will come back here when I'm done meeting in flesh. Flesh walker. Oh. Tongue talker. Right. Far you've come. Reach into memory. Tell me of home. Make up the kind of treasured memories you expect the same to feel. I don't have a home. Me, blanketed in flayed skin, fireplace, burning flesh, sipping a glass of gore. I'm a Baldorian. I would envision the banks of the Chionta green and fertile. It cringes in response to your sunny vision. Oh, sorry. It reveals its own home in reply. A humid cove filled with decaying myconid corpses. Gregor destroyed my people. 
I am a sovereign with no circle. I do not belong here. I am not welcomed here. Okay. I grow among them. Is that it? Maybe you don't like my home. What is this thing? Oh my god, what in the dark crystal is that? Monstrosity stares blankly. The voice that echoes within you belongs not to it, but the Sovereign. Leave this one. Come to me. We must speak. We just did speak. No? Are you not the actual Sovereign? I don't understand. You called me down here. Now you don't care. I feel like I'm in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory over here. The trait of Kithrak takes great interest in this relic of your shadow part. Or should I say, weapon? What are you hiding? Nothing. I assume your kin are just as misguided as you are. Love all the little chats. And then this is back up to here. I guess I maybe messed up the conversation. To get a quest out of him. What oh, is this? Ah, a visitor. You're a welcome sight. <clears throat> but let us observe the customs of the locals. The scholar's brow tenses. His voice spills into your skull, the spores connecting mind to mind. Blurg. Proud member of the Society of Brilliance at your service. <clears throat> or perhaps not. Mm, your mind is far more complex than that of the fungi. Never heard of the Society of Brilliance. Understandable. We are small in number and rarely stay in one place for long. My colleagues and I are working to improve conditions in the Underdark. This need not be such a dire, hostile place. It's curious to find a surface dweller here. What has brought you down so deep? Um, a mind flare infected me with a tadpole. Truly remarkable. But why come to the Underdark, where they hold so much power? Explain the whole story. You were infected by an illicit why tadpole. Not? Be proud. It's a miracle you're still intact. You must be worried sick, but have no fear. I have a friend who may be able to assist. Omelium! I hope this is important, Blurg. My Zerkwood samples need constant attention. It is. This adventurer has an illithid tadpole inside her head, but she hasn't turned. No oh, damn. forces. That's impossible, but intriguing. Are you looking to have it? Extracted. You got the tentacles. Your head will make a fine trophy for my queen. Please hold. I understand your rage against my kin. One of my brethren forced a tadpole into your eye. Or ear, perhaps. But I assure you, or I stand up your with bottom. the Society of hmm. Brilliance. <laughs> Not the colonies of my people. I should never write an RPG. Um, the Myconids wouldn't appreciate us fighting here. I'll listen. I'd never trust a Mind Flayer attack. I want nothing to do with you. I will listen, I guess. Fool! They infest your head and invade your dreams and still you would parley. I ask chill. only that you refrain from violence. I respect that your opinion of my kind may be charged. 
If that settles matters for the time being, would you like a diagnosis? Someone Open that your can actually mind help. to me. Let us see what lurks within. Dude, if aliens actually look like these guys, then I hope we never find them, you know? Ugh. Uh relax and let Omlele mind search you. As the Melowan's mind pierces yours, the tadpole pulses with power. It feels ten times its size. Alive. Awake. Almost smug. This is most unusual. The incubation period should be complete, as should your transformation. But the lava is infused with strange magic. It appears to be in some form of stasis. Hmm. What happens if that stasis goes away? I can only theorize, but I suspect your transformation would be both agonizing and instantaneous. I thought it was always agonizing, Amelium. Well, yes. But that wasn't my point. Hmm. Can you extract it? No. It appears to be shielded from physical and magical influence. Moreover, the cranium has undergone severe trauma. It is a miracle the brain functions at all. Extraction would risk much. Well, my mind is all addled. Can you tell why? The lava is not the only creature that has been inside this brain, hmm. but at present it is the sole resident. What do you mean? Your flesh has been burrowed into. Your flesh has been excavated. What? A tadpole need not tunnel when they greet their host. Unfortunately, beyond the assessment of my own kind, I cannot speculate what has passed through your cerebrum. But not to worry. Should you transform, I will happily perform a new examination. Tell him about the ship. A nautiloid? Fascinating. I have never set foot on one myself. They were our warships during the greatest eras of the Illithid Empire. We ruled the entire astral plane from their decks. The design was lost when the Gith rebelled and ended our dominion. Well, it was nice talking to you. Of course. I am sorry I cannot assist you in its removal. But I have an idea. Oh. Perhaps I should start taking notes. There may be a way to bypass that stasis. There are many alchemical substances that can influence the mind. Bypass the stasis, but isn't that why the tadpole hasn't killed me? I do not intend to shatter its protection. I need only bypass the interference that prevents me from communicating with the lava. What kind of alchemy are we talking about? A tincture distilled from a collection of rare I like the word tincture. They have subtle psionic influence. I would require a fresh ton of madness and timusk spores. But be warned, in their natural state, both of these mushrooms can be quite dangerous. Timusks cause confusion in those that approach them. The okay, tongue so we got to collect the mushrooms in here? Self-explanatory. Do I already have these? Lovely. Where do I find them? The Underdark, of course. Although they are quite rare. And their discovery... perilous. Hmm. I imagine Lenore would have them in her possession. She served Mistra as a cleric. Right. Where does Lenore live? The southwest when I last saw her. Although, 
her tower does have a tendency to move. The Nor's moving tower. I'll come back when I find them. May your travels May your travels be safe and swift. Let's continue. Who's this? Don't. Her condition is familiar. Poison derived from a wild weed common to the Underdark. She'll need an antidote soon. Most likely held by the poisoner. Can't we, like, bless or do the aid? Who did this to you? Fuego! Slashed me! Oh. Consider what you know. Gotta get a 15. have innate resistance to poison and thus no need for intricate bruise. Though deadly if left untreated, the poison can be cured by the antidote or natural remedies. Not going anywhere. Shadowheart, can you try and why did that bug us out? Are you serious? Others need me. Mostly junk, but her boots catch your eye. Oh, those are nice boots. Eyes to yourself. Yoink. The fact that Shadowheart and Astarian approve of me stealing her boots. Click heels. What does that do? Boots of speed. Over my swift strides, dashes or takes an action during combat the game momentum. What's clicking heels do? Class action. Where would that go? Click the heels of your boots and gain speed and freedom of movement for one turn. Um, cure poison. Vincere, vivere. Oh. Oh. Heinz, fading. Eva, I'm finally dead or you healed me. Why? For your boots. It's always useful to be out of favour. I thank you for your help, but I've got to get moving. Oh, it hurts. Carl's garters. Oh, I don't have time for this. My kin need me. Well, you're in no condition to help anyone. Maybe not, but you are. I need you to rescue my kin. We can pay. We're Iron Hand Clan, best artificers in Baldur's Gate. We were on an expedition down here when the Dwergar snatched us up. I got away, but not the others. The Greys have them digging out some old ruin across the lake. Hmm. Sorry. Right. Thank you. Only wish I could go with you. I'll mark where I made my escape and uh, wait here, I suppose. Not much choice, eh? Oh, I wish I could go with you, only I've got no boots. Look how good they look on me, though, you know? All right. Thanks for your what donation. Now? They look mm the sovereign's thick fingers oh. stroke the corpse at its feet. A droning melody greets you as the creature turns its gaze to you. Flesh talker, I show you a memory. Watch and listen. A violent vision grips you. Dwega, dark dwarves chopping myconid remains. Our peace. They killed our young. The sovereign's song slows to the pace of a dirge. 
It is still in mourning. We laid waste to many, but intruders remain. Lakewood. The Sovereign's song halts as it measures your worth. I sense your resolve. You will find Dwergar invaders near Lake's Edge. Cleanse the rot. Destroy them. I admit, I like this one's approach. A little genocidal, but effective. Why did they attack? Deep purples swirl into familiar shapes. Gnomes in mining gear, chased by Dwergar. The Dwergar seek a gnome. It is a guest. You harbor a fugitive. The Sovereign says nothing, but you hear appreciation in its song. Hmm. What did you do to that corpse? We breathe life into our enemy's flesh. The dead make a fine host for my growing children. Gross. If I die down here, destroy my corpse. Don't worry. I wouldn't hesitate. Oh, you too. Uh, those spores hold power. How would I gain that knowledge? You may not. The spores hear only the circle. They dance to no other harmony. Okay. Alright, I'll take care of it. The Sovereign gifts you one more vision. A wall of vines parting to reveal glowing light. Riches of magic and mind. Cleanse the rot, and they are yours. You do the circle a service. We will open. Everyone talks really slow in the Underdark. It's a slower way of life, I think. Doctor Strange over here. Solve your problems. Pretty down here. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. I can't believe I thought the Underdark was going to literally just be a shortcut out of the Goblin Camp in itself. Something's marking its territory. What are we sensing? Best be careful. Something marking its territory. Starion. Let's clear that out first. Still breathing, despite everything. I'm a light. The traitor Kithrak takes great interest in this relic of your shadow heart. Or should I say, weapon? What are you hiding? Nothing. I assume your kin are just misguided. Is this gonna dissipate? I would try gust, but it did not work last time. But let me see if instead of cure wounds. I uh, okay. Well, all the effort I just went through to put it in, and then it didn't even. Oh yeah, I was gonna try my plant growth, wasn't I? Need to find a way forward. Forward gang. What's that? Ollywog. So bloom. Like my magic is getting drained. Hmm. Oh What's this? A hook horror. You have Lazel. Second wind. Draw on your stamina and heal yourself. Action surge. Gain an extra action to use this turn. Astral knowledge. Misty step. Surrounded by silver mist, teleport to an unoccupied space you can see. Could be useful. Mage hand. Rush attack. Pommel strike. Misty step you in. That's pretty useful. Oh, 
quite a bit of health it's got too. Do you have a lacerate? Saved from bleeding though. Okay, pretty good. Whoa. Jeez. Ouch. <sighs> Give you stage fright. It's a new miss, you'll take damage. Doesn't like I can do anything else right now. So I can't cast any spells because I'm in this like weird mushroom anti-magic area, right? Here goes nothing. Good job, everyone. Take that. Wow, is that like a weapon? Ah, it's an ingredient. Okay. Dark around here. Would be a terrible shame to lose you forever. Yes. Do you keep your wits, Shadow Heart. Should a dagger suddenly slice your neck, that may be a job. Who's to blame? These two. I'm, I'm glad I brought them along, honestly. Just bickering the whole way. Discover the way you to the Underdog. What now? What up there? Yeah, I mean, you're pretty unlikely to hit it from all the way down here. So we may as well wait. Here she comes. Almost. I have a lot on my mind. And, well, in it. Can't slow down. More of them. Really have to fight our way through this area. Oh! Oh no, another one of these! It's back! Oh yeah, because the last one ran. Sorry, it's been a while since it missed. Shoot, and there's a bloody tree in the way. Taste my fury. It laughed at you. Kind of spooky how a creature like that could laugh when missing. It's like Godzilla almost. Here we go again. Got a melee. My love. My Who is this? Oh, hang on. Those things are helping. I wonder if I can use um, Charm Creature on them so they don't attack me, actually. The other uh, things. The Hook Horrors. Oh, now you're not on my side. Wow, no, they're really doing a lot. They're fighting. Really, I should have just hit you, another miss with that. How are we doing for health? Magic missile. Oh. 
2 HP. Alright, so the Boulette's dead, and now we need to kill the Hook Horrors. And this guy. I was hoping that would go through both. Oh my god, 1 HP? Five scrolls. Failed his death saving throw. And she doesn't have her level 3 spell to revivify. Shoot. Oh, he died. Damn it. Okay. Well. Destination. Can you fly up here and start fighting this guy? Okay. Survival is all that matters. Got him. Okay. Let's go over there and see what that was all about. I'm gonna go via Vistarian, I think. With haste. Half eaten gnome. He's got some dead bodies. Oh no, that's him. Below the forgotten. Scattered notes scrawled by a chaotic hand. Protector, guardian of the Adamantine Forge. From magma rose, only in magma destroyed. Hot hammer, hot hammer. Where? A small map is drawn underneath. Marked by numerous X's. The following words scratched beneath it. Dawn knows. Investigation failed. Oh, 
and a robe and a quarter staff and a bunch of fish. A tattered scroll. Tattered scroll. An unfinished conjuration scroll marred by teeth marks and dried slobber. Sort of a little golem-like character here. What about um, talk with the dead? Speak with the dead. Casting spells is blocked down here. Oh yeah. Starion posing, even though he's super dead right now. Gotta get back to camp. There he is. Hello, Scratch. see. Save, because I don't dare fail this. Oh, I literally can't. Come here, darling. Let me see. Look. Cut. Oh, you poor thing. Hold still. I'll make it better. the wound closes, the cub begins testing his weight on the leg. Good. No hurt. How did this happen? Teeth. Claws. Bigger. You fought something bigger than you? Why? Strong. Fight. Win. And did you kill any? Kill? No. Strong. Show you. The little beast's quite charming once you get accustomed to the smell of rotting flesh. Cub Tamer. Are you in camp somewhere now? Do you hang out here? <gasps> there you are. Don't bite me. Okay. <sighs> Suppose we should uh, head out. The Dread Hollow. Now, it looks like I've come down a little too far here, and really... Looks like I want to be going... Up. But, I mean, we came down this far and fought that guy, so let's... That's the Grim Forge and the Gnome. But what's up here? Find the Mushroom Picker. Balin. Okay. Let's do that. So down here we go. I'm surrounded by all these booms. I'm gonna guess if I cause a massive chain react chain reaction here, it may endanger this guy. So we're gonna start a conversation. Stop! Oh, Stop! Sorry. People die. You recognize the name, Bibberbang. A uh, mushroom bang. that releases dangerous spores. Highly flammable. 
Well, quite a predicament you've landed yourself in. I know that. Scroll. Escape. My bag, please. I've dropped it somewhere. Hold tight. Thank you. Thank you. Karlak has such a good heart. She approves of every good deed, and the other two are just not impressed at all. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought Shadowheart was so evil. I kind of like it. Um, your bag, you say. There's your bag. Right. I'm going to ungroup myself. And I'm going to... Can't risk being in open no! View. Stop! Stop! I don't know why you would do that. You... Right. That was... A... It was a misclick. It was a misclick. Oh, God. Well... It's just... It's no time for dancing, Karlak. My vampire boyfriend's dead. I'll be careful this time. Stop! Bip a bang, bip a bang. I scroll. Right. Ungroup. Softer than a whisper. Gentle. Wonder if the gods Gentle. are watching me. So softly, softly. I don't need any attention right now. Catchy. I... that's... no... 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 Run! Run! Uh, Shadowheart, like, heal him as he comes through. You don't have any heals? Try to preserve life. When he gets here. Oh, he's dead. Alright. What if I'm a cat? Then perhaps... I won't trigger them quite as much. Or I could have been a badger and burrowed over there, couldn't I? Go back. Yes, 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 dear, yes, dear, yes, dear, yes. Okay. Okay. Everyone wait here. I'm going to burrow my way. To the other side. It's fine. It's fine. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Oh my god, why is he running? Why is he running? Why is he running? Sir? I wonder what the next move is. Heal him. Where are you going? All right, everyone away, everyone away, everyone away, everyone away. Oh my god. That, he triggered that, not me. Yep. What a fool. Okay, well, we kept him alive, so I think if we go back, he'll be there. But this is now an absolute wasteland, isn't it? Looking ahead. It's a grave site. Seems simple enough. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. What's that? Potion of healing and some onyx. What's the tombstone? The rock under your feet juts upwards, forming a perfectly engraved tombstone with a small epitaph. In memory of Myrna, a shining light in this dark world. May you forever gaze upon the lake you love to play in. You realize it was made with stone shape, a powerful spell to waste on a grave. Hmm. Dig it up. As you dig, you slowly expose the skeletal remains of a large dog huh. wearing a chunky leather collar. A dog? Take the collar. Let's have a look. 
an old leather collar for a large dog. The name Myrna is engraved on the tag, surrounded by a plethora of indecipherable runes. Okay. Not sure if I should have dug it up, but... It's okay, we'll see what happens. So... We want to go down here, don't we, I think. Is there a way down? It looks like we have to go around. Let's get going. Best indeed. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. So we wait for the next occurrence. Now up there is what? A dead end. Okay, so down here. Dead one. abandoned. Decrepit village. Music. Executed deep gnome. <gasps> Short sword of first blood. 3 to 15. Shadow heart. That's better for you. What are you using? Sword of Justice. Um, okay, I don't know why I did that. There you go. Alright, what now? Open up. A bloodstone. Never wanted the easy path. Nothing else here? <clears throat> A rogue morsel. Oh, some more deados. Corpses. These creatures did battle with Dwerger. Hmm. Take your mushrooms. Don't mind us, just looting all of your bodies as we make our way through here. Nothing to see. Torch stalk, glowing bulb. Ah, and then that loops back up to there. Okie dokie, so we want to go down. This way. No one stopped me yet. Or am I going. Looks like it both leads the same way. Crooked Wand of Fireballs. Use an action to cast a fireball from this broken wand. Which way, which way? Still alive, so that's progress. Isn't it? Spattered Diary. A badly charred diary with property of Wolbrun written on the inside cover. One of the few legible entries, the author wonders if he'll ever see his friend Barkus again. Okay. Down we go. What creatures live in waters this dark? There's creatures in the water. Hope not. Oh. Too loud, sun scum. Heard you stumbling. Can hear you blinking. Noise gets you eaten down here. Reckon I'll hush you before something hungry comes along. His fist grips an axe. On his gnarled grey skin, you see the Absolute's brand. 
Hmm. Let's see. Let's use our illithid. That's right. You are a true soul. The presence deep in your mind is awake, unblinking. This is it. A single word pervades your consciousness. Soon. Soon. Not like me to overlook one of the absolutes chosen. Let myself get distracted. Won't happen again. Anyway. The hunt's not over yet. A hunt. Charming, do tell. Tracking a runaway slave, deep gnome. Stole boots from my sergeant. I'm to kill the runaway. But she's holed up with myconids. Oh. Can't get past those rock flowers. I wonder if that's get where my boots head. are from. Make you see things. Half my squad jumped off a cliff, laughing. <sighs> Nothing like the sweating, shaking scent of cornered prey. Ah, oh, you're a right miserable piece of work. Let's show that whelp what the Absolute's warriors can do. Better true soul can make those mushrooms choke on their spores. Okay. Now, where are you? You're up there, are you? Let me come and say hello. Gek. Gek's the talker, not me. Back off. All right. Too loud, son. Noise gets his fist. Why are we repeating the same thing? On his gnarled grey skin, you see the absolute's huh? brand. Um, I can be discreet. I don't know why I'm repeating the same combo. What are you doing here? Told you. Hunting. Hunt. I got Kill you. Kill the slave and fetch back the leather. Or the bosses in Moonrise will have friends hide. Would you really kill someone for a pair of boots? I mean, I have the boots. Sergeant told me to. Besides, we're talking about a slave. I want to say he got the boots right here, but I don't want that to be me handing them over. So let me save it. Got the boots right here. Oh, look at that. Swift work. You could teach our slaves a thing or two. You want to take those boots to Sergeant Thrin in the camp across the Ebon Lake? I'll stay back here. Ah, okay. See if I can find some more gnomes. A few more, and I reckon I could become a true soul. So I don't really have to do anything with you, but... That is perhaps going to get me a pass up into the camp to be like, Oh, I got the boots. Deep known prisoners kill them by the lakes. Where's that? Is that down there? Let's see. Gek does the talking around here. Bother him. Okay, but he told me to go to the sergeant. Vessel wobbles on the lake's murky waters. Sail into the darkness. What? No thanks. Not just yet. It says there's prisoners here. So where is? That's the way through, right? Where is he saying to go? Talk to Balin. He's back at the colony. There's the arcane tower that moves. I don't see your sergeant anywhere, so maybe I am just going to murder you. Ah, oh, dear, dear, dear. 
Right, let's get into position. Let's do a little bit of positioning this time because it's something which is so important in this type of combat is your opening position. If you get the opportunity to actually position yourself, it's huge. It's everything. So. Oh, sorry. Hang on. No, ungroup me. I know I always go back to Divinity, but that's my experience of this kind of thing is, um, you know, your opening position for a fight can be between you getting absolutely wiped and it just being like the easiest fight ever. So we shall begin. Actually, no, because no we're going to shove him down there. Starion, I want you here. And, uh... I'll stay up here for now. Actually, I won't. I feel like he's going to be down there. The majority of them are down there, right? So... Oh, wait. There is one in here. Let me go say hello quickly. Something's on my mind. Half the squad dead for the sake of one runaway. Crack. Hmm. I will stay up here then. All right, let's give it a go. Dum da dum tum ta tum. Your actions have consequences. In this case, Oops. a violent confrontation. Hope you had a nice trip. than I thought, I will say. Damn. <sighs> I feel like I could cast a silence bubble on you there. What else can we do? That's only a one target. Do, 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 do. I want you to defend yourself. <laughs> How do you miss? He's right there, Shadow. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Sweetheart, please. Ah, oh, man. I don't even have any... I have spells, but... I have the effects of that thing. Oh, I'm in silence. That's why I can't... Right, hang on. If I go back here... I'm out of the bubble. Still can't cast. Why not? Level one, casting spells is blocked. I do still have that field casting my spell. Um, stopping me from casting. Okay. There it is then. Bar. Silenced, so try for a little push yourself. <laughs> miss, 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 miss. On my way. Well, let's begin the fun. Can't jump after that. Cry about it. Close ranks. <laughs> Cleave would be handy here, wouldn't it? Three zombies.
Wow. If you're invisible, that's an issue. I wonder if I silence this whole area, if it'll reveal you to me. No. Interesting. I should get away from there. Scorch him. Path is interrupted. Hmm. Do you know what? Grease. Got one slip in. That's all you can do for now? Okay, move a little bit forward. Get off that edge. Another fight. Let's go. I'll bring myself. Do you know what? I think you've got them. I'm gonna go deal with this guy. One day I'll catch a break. Oh, that climbing, so satisfying. It's a mirror. God, it's hot in here. Throw him. Too far away. About a reckless attack, should you be able to finish? Okay. <gasps> they just get back up. Invisibility. Set that grease on fire. Spiritual weapon. Too far. Why can't I cast on you from here? Too far, too far, too far. Got this one below me then. Saved from the acid splash. Let's move. Get into a better position. Blood comes easy these days. <laughs> is my happy place. Oh, yes. Should probably just go straight for this. Soldier, I need your help. Sweetheart. Job. I was kind of hoping to shove you into the fire. I didn't realize they wouldn't have the moves. Kind of in trouble now. Oh, spiritual weapon soaking it up. Heavy to shove. He's a big boy. You're in trouble, aren't you? Not 
sure how to get you away from there. Casting that spell is going to give you 15 health. It's a shame to not use it when I'm near my others. But it's that or eat it, really. I wonder if I would hurt too much if I jump down 7 HP. Yeah. Moving is going to cause me to have an issue, so I might just stay put. Why are all these targets too far when they're... I think my range is, like, really reduced because of the cloud or something. I don't know. Oh, you're blinded for the next nine turns. Right, that explains it. get closer then. Mage armor. Sometimes the only way out is through. You gotta finish quick. Good job. Light on my feet. Try and help Bay. You. I think they could just go to one. Can you actually kill them? Okay. Throw you into the fire. That's so cool. I love that you can do that. Ah, it's awesome. Coming back. I need your help. Get cut by my spirit weapon. Oh. Shadow heart down. Being blind, you can't really do much. I think she could maybe heal blindness if you could get out of the silence and stay alive. Mm, rest lesser restoration does, but then you gotta get out of here. It's a level two spell slot. I have one. I'm not sure why I can't cast it. We have to touch to do it. Come on, can't stay idle. Come on, Bar. Ah, the miss. I will stay in my shape. It's been pretty useful. Heal up. Not blinded anymore? 
Now he's just silenced. So you can cast again. Aha. Well then, allow me to retort. Miss. Get her back up. I need healing. I won't give in. Dash. These boots have seen everything. I always feel like she's gonna go. These boots are made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. Go of things here. I need your help. Hang on in there. I can heal you. Try that guiding bolt again. Not on your weapon, on the dwarf. The gnome? Whatever they are. Good job, crit. Hungry for the slaughter. Ah, what's he on? Three. And 21 on this boy. Okay. In which case... Missiles. Tormented. So we don't miss. Still breathing, despite everything. That's you. Best be on my way. Time. Good fight. Good job, everyone. I've got a long road ahead. For the mushroom people. I wish to live in more interesting times. this jump. Can everyone make this jump? One by one? I know you can, Karlak. Sweet and tip. Guys, don't go too close to it. Please. Will you stop? God. Half the Strahl's body is crushed. Must have fallen from pretty high up. Hmm. It's in the journal. One favor, one faithful servant. That is all I summoned. No more, no less than Malice de Wood never had, or indeed the Mother of Lusts herself. The Yokolo was quite a sight in all its forms. I'd read of its foul odor, but I found it intoxicating, like rose water. It smashed a few artifacts, hissed at a master. The Archmage should have revered me for such a country. Instead, he threatened to curse me, to make me a drider. My time will come soon. I will return to Menzo Baranzan and Sorcerer. Then the Archmage will worship me. I will be served. Where did you come from? What? What's that? What was that? Guys, investigate. Are we climbing? Oh. Well, hold on a minute. All sorts of stuff's happening here. Maybe if I rain. There's definitely a platform there. How will I see it to climb up or something here? Best get going. Hmm. How much farther can I go? Invisible mushrooms. Well, my day just improved. Did you want something? Your wound is causing you too much pain. There must be a way to heal it. 
Pain is the gauntlet that all who love Lady Sha must endure. Only her embrace can truly heal me. To try and salve myself would do nothing but shame me in the Night Singer's eyes. You should not have to suffer to be true to your faith. What if your wounds pain you at the wrong moment? It could cost us dearly. Ooh. Let me save. I don't want to upset her. Suijon. Twelve. Great. Oh, I don't know what happened there. It reloaded. Whoops. Must have, uh... Must have misclicked. My finger must have slipped to ensure a positive romance with the one and only Shadowheart. I'm glad other people are obs as obsessed with Shadowheart as I am. Like, my FYP... Pain is the gauntlet that makes all me who feel love Lady Sha must in to try and vindicated in my salve myself would do nothing but shame desires. me in the night singer's eyes. Let's try that again. Yes, first time. Perhaps you're right. But there's little we can do about it just now. Maybe a way will present itself in time if Lady Sha wills it. Okay. Don't waste the step. Perhaps we'll come back to that stuff. Hmm. We all just failed a survival check. All right. One Not sure what I think about that, but I will hit the auto save button, the click save button, I should say. Okay. What is that? The Oh, okay. Um, everyone chill. I feel like that was targeting me. I think it's a trap, guys. Very, very quiet. Can you just run over there, Astarian? Aren't you? Oh, we're in turn base now? Yeah. Right. I guess we all better get involved. Have stayed interesting. Not quite enough to. Have seen everything. Ah! Wait. Now it's targeting me. No time to dally. What's gonna happen? Gotta make it uh, there I'll where you'll be side. hidden. That's what we all needed to do. I wonder if I can use that click boots. Click heels. Yes. How much movement that gives me. It's still targeting me, but I'm guessing it's not going to be able to shoot through that rock, surely. Starian's like, right, I'm just here like an egg, am I? Left on my own, okay. Keep your distance, darling. I've got a long road ahead. Did zap me through there. Got to press on. It's a turret. Best get to hitting it. Good job. Da, da, da. Think we're okay. Don't linger. Oh, there's another one. Can't give up now. Is it not gonna hit from here though, okay. What's next, I wonder? No one stopped me yet. Everyone group up. Stage With Heather haste. Gang. Some chests and stuff up here. What's that? A random sort of stained glass window. Look in there. Starian. How delicious. Hardly a challenge. Fifteen. Not a problem. 
not a problem at all. Skybreaker. But it's only two to five. Huh? A light hammer. You throw it. But why is it so weak? I guess because it's this equal to a dagger. So you could have two little hammers. So it's equal to a dagger there. And some silver ingots. That would be a cool build, wouldn't it? Two hammers. Letter to Yur. Dearest Yuri. I don't know if you're coming back, if you'll even read this message, but if you do come back, because you wait for me, I'll only be gone a few ten days, but the thought of coming back to this empty tower with nothing but Bernard to fill these halls, I don't know how much longer I can take this. I miss you. I miss you so much. I can't shake the thought of how different things might have been if only I'd been less stubborn. Working on your lightning inventions by magic, eating together, laughing at your stupid puns, waking up next to you. Despite everything, I still love you. So please, if you read this, can you wait? I'll be back. I won't be long. Forever yours, Lenore. A few sentences penned below in a different hand. I waited. I waited until Tarsak. I'll always wait for you. But you didn't come. Whoa. Love letters? I mean, I'll read all the love letters, honestly. It's my <laughs> that and people's diaries in games. Yeah. I'm like, yes. Give me more. One day I'll catch a break. That's curious. What do we got? Rapier. I hope we get to meet this Lenore. Right. Guess we better run up here and hit that. You've made a grave mistake. Up in her mystical tower. Ah, whoa. Uh sorry, I thought I I thought I dealt with that. Let's keep it moving. Keep it moving, gang. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. There we go. You're okay. Knock, knock. Anybody home? What now? Should be easy. A fifteen. Ah, oh, my little monster. Control. Save. Just. Let's get on with it. I'll just do this instead of uh, camp. Alive. So that's progress. Who so knows what's waiting for us? Me. More of these turrets. I'm sorry, but this clicking heels boots. So powerful. Let's get this over with. Sturdy. Meaning what? Only a hit that deals at least ten damage can damage it. Oh, right. What a day. Okay. So not my general ranged attack. We have to hit it with something I'm ready. proper. Let's try this way. So let's try the fireball. So it's got, but it's got to be over that. It's got to roll for a lot more. Try and get in there. You're not going to hit it. None of those were a 10? Oh wait, they do two to five each. I'm an idiot. Right, well, Watch your back. that's fine. What to do? Get it on the next one. What am I to do? Soldier. And then it 
curls up. Okay. <laughs> Babe, you got to hit it harder than that. So having gone back and looked into what these arcane turrets are, essentially it does need to be over 10, but they also have a ton of resistances, which is halving the damage we're doing. So unless it's a great amount of damage, they're actually pretty hard to beat. In which case, I think we're going to run into here and just try and get into Time the lift. They don't seem to do too much damage. So if we just dash as a group, I'm ready. Whatever it takes. we should be Open getting on way. much better to just get through rather than wasting all of our spells that we have left before a long rest. Stay idle. Seems like dashing is the right approach. Right. I'm assuming there'll be a button somewhere. Switch them off. Don't touch me. But I think I would eat more damage trying to do enough damage to them than I would just running through. I have a lot on my mind. And as well, in it. Ouch. Right. Starion, so slow. Let's be quick. You about to block the way from me getting in? I feel like you might be right there and just block the way. Hang Never on. A dull moment. I can't quite get past you, can I? Hmm. Oh no, I can. Okay. Here we go. Descend. Looks like some kind of magical contraption. Oh. Now to get it to work. Really? The lift buttons don't work. Maybe it's something through one of these doors. Oh wait, there's a big door here. Ah, damn. Right. There's no time to waste. At least things have stayed interesting. And I don't have enough for health potion. My faith will guide me. Go check it out. Are we safe in here? We are safe in here. Great. Okay. Attention. Let's have Karlak check it out. <laughs> oh. Well, it's not here. Stay there for now. My face protects me. I'll have Shadow Heart check the other one. What's behind door number two? <laughs> I hope you're ready for nothing. Someone there. Like, I've got a long kind road ahead. <sighs> kind of low health, so I'll stay here for a second if you don't mind. Even though you're a very slow Quick runner. Step. Uh, right. Okay, so how do we power that up? Covered spell slots there, but... No time to rest. I wonder what the next move is. Why can no one cast anything in here? Right, gang. So, investigating this area, it looks like... We have to go down. I think we might be able to hop off there and get to the lower level. So, what to do? everyone come with me. And we will have to simply run past and take a bit of damage. Which is a bit annoying right after a long rest, but... 
Starion, don't be a baby. Okay, please don't have more turrets. So this is where the lift would have got us. Might be useful. Tongue of madness. Was that one of the ones that I needed? That was. Okay, cool. What was the other one? Threadbare book. Looks like it once contained a play. Seems like the owner was quite the literary type. Music super intense for just exploring a tower. Timmy spores. Okay. Those were the other ones that I needed. Right. Is there anything else in here? Let's try the door. Is there another way down from this side? Nope. What a magical place. I really wasn't expecting the Underdark to have so much stuff. I, I mean, I said in the last video, I was like, alright, we'll go through the Underdark and then it'll be Act 2. I think Underdark is going to be a whole video on its own just because it's so much. And I don't really want to rush through it. We've got a water barrel. Is there... If I go down again bit of a leap, but... 13 HP damage. Is there a better way down? There probably is, but I think we're going to have to eat it. Why isn't a mushroom spongy? Alright, well, don't, don't rush to follow me, guys. Careful, I might. Just while one by one, we're like, why are we doing this? Come on, let's go. Will Carlax loves it. Let's move. Then we'll just hit a short rest, I suppose. Time to get going. Good job, everyone. I know we'll all feel this when we're, you know, in our late 40s and 50s. We'll be like, oh, I remember when we jumped off of there. A hole. I'm way too big. Excuse me? Something to crawl through. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Trust me. Wait. Making me sweat. For me. Looking ahead. Okay. Let's see what's in the hole. That's a cat. As we have learned. Is the way to get inside. A lever. Some stones. Need to find a way forward. Petals. Withered petals. Power generator. Got to put something in there. What's the withered petals here? So can I put those in? A nightlight frond. Maybe I need to find what the petals came from. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Where's the cat keeping them? We'll never know. in here. Oh, it's a... Ah. Right, this is just... We're up here, right? Yeah, okay. Cool. Now we're all together again. Maybe from this tree? Susabloom. Outside a magical tower. 
Anyone want to pass it? Oh my gosh. Can't give up now. All four of us. What a bunch. So in here... Where are those that I just picked up? Magic. Howl's moving castle vibes from a moving tower. Reading that book on my podcast. Only on the Patreon though, because it's got copyright strike on my YouTube channel. Okay, the lights are on. Mystical. So if we head up to the lift... Was there anything on this level? No. Should now be able to ascend to the top. And... again. We like instantly floop up with magic, like a Willy Wonka. Oh, hang on. Someone's bedroom. Mage's friend. Plus one arcana, plus one religion. Hmm. Put it on my other ring. Got any clothes? that button? What am I hearing? The Missives of Candlekeep. A select collection of the most notable letters sent from Candlekeep. Many are dry reports of celestial movements or incomprehensible details of arcane rituals. This letter catches your eye. How long is it? To the Sage Elminster over the past year, I've delivered many of your letters to Master Gorion. So I wanted to be the one to deliver this sad news. He's with us no more. Gorion and his ward left Candlekeep soon after your last letter to him arrived. They departed in the middle of the night, but they were waylaid shortly after on the road to the ghost. The warden tells me that Gorion saw it, that several of his attackers joined him in the next world before he was struck down. I hope this brings you the same grim comfort it brings me. Of his ward, there was no sign. In some better news, I received your letters to the library and was able to find much of the material you requested. It's been carefully secured and will travel with this letter. Yours in honour, Tristan P. Shale, librarian at Candlekeep. Might I ask, why do you need so much information about Baal Spawn? What are you working on? What's this button do? Wait, why did that strange dog collar just vibrate? <gasps> Wait, why did that strange dog collar just vibrate? So the collar in my pocket is for calling whatever wore this collar home. Can I wear this? Equipped. Push it again. Clever. Food is dispensed for anyone wearing this collar. Huh. Hmm. Only one serving for me, I guess. And it gave me a bunch of raw meat. Do I actually have a dog collar on around my neck? Doesn't seem to be there, does it? How unfortunate. Would have been a look. A handwritten letter. <clears throat> Dearest Lenore, I'm not sure I should say this, but your last letter really worried me. Why in all hells would you tame a boulette? Just because you found it near Myrna's grave doesn't mean it's a sign. I'm really worried about you, Lenore. A boulette is not a pet. Using it as a guardian is one thing, but you sound quite taken by it. 
I know you don't want to come back before you finish your research, but if you're feeling lonely, you know my door is always open. Lots of love and hugs, Amarith. It really warms my heart to hear you put your autumn cro crocus flowers on Myrna's grave. She liked to roll around in them, even though she'd always sneeze after. Such a soft, loyal dog. Oh, sorry. Clicked off accidentally. The Roads to Darkness, an epic tragedy about power, corruption, and loneliness. They like their books. An engraved Githyanki disc. The disc is formed from slate and engraved with Githyanki writing. You examine them closely, but can't make much sense of them. Hmm. Without a cipher or primer to aid you, the disc's message could be near impossible to discern. I'm sure someone will know. After all, a 20? Oh my gosh. Well, that did not work. No matter how hard you try, you can't make any sense of the symbols. You should take the disc to Lazel. Mm -hmm. She might know more about it. Are these good Yankee markings? Lazel might know. Torn out paper. The silence stretches on. I'm all alone. Please, can I hold your hands for just a while? Or An engraved disc of Githyanki origin containing a complex cipher that can decrypt ancient Gith dialects. A useful discovery if one should encounter such archaic writings. So wait. If I put the disc on there, it'll read it? Circular symbols are etched on the disc. No? <gasps> In your mind's eye, the symbols trade places with each other until a clear pattern forms. And from that pattern, a story emerges. The Prince of the Comet, Part 1. So it was that we were free from gait shackles and turned our blades on each other. The heavens were shattered and one great empire was divided in two. Gith traveled to the hells to broker help for her people, her cause. Vlakith would have you believe Mother Gith proclaimed her our queen. Lies. Gith made no such proclamation. Vlakith seized the empire against the mother's wishes. But Gith had nurtured a son, Orpheus, Prince of the Comet, the true heir. He knew Vlakith's treachery. Orpheus rallied Gith's honor guard the and declared the promised. throne for himself. The War of the Comet had begun. It's an intriguing tale, and a forbidden one given how expertly it was encoded. Lazel will surely want to know of this. Okay. I don't know why I can't do something with this, though. Like, this pops up. I can't, like, sort of combine it with that, but... Oh. Disc. I just want to check that I picked the disc up. Disc. I think I did pick it up. Okay. Alright. Check that chest. Scrolls, scrolls, scrolls. Now, is there another way up? What's that over there? Is there another floor? There is. Bernard. You know these words. They are from the opening stanza of a play you found in this very tower. Oh, don't tell me it's the one I didn't read. Oh, it's just this one. Or oh, art thou friend, a rescue from my lonely wake? Come out of love for me. Not love for blood and seal. Come on, is he My lord, help. 
How can I trust? How will I ever know? How can I show myself my darkest me? The silence stretches on. I'm all alone. Can I hold your hand for just a while? Of course, my love. And I'm so... Don't be afraid, sweet girl. What can I do? Would you like a hug? Please. Come here. For just a moment. His arms are too tight and too low for a comfortable hug, as if he's meant to be embracing someone slightly shorter. Remember, you are loved little more so much. You do really. And everyone will be so proud of you. As I already am. She built herself a little affirmation machine. Um, how can I trust? How will I ever know? Can I ask you anything else? No? Apparently not. Lots of broken machinery. These empty sheets are all that's left of you, the last of all the thoughtless gifts you gave. I will hold on to them, it's all that I can do. I can't throw them away, I've never been that brave. Ooh, God. Ouch. Armor, but it's alive. Wait, are we? Unable to cast because we're carrying these flowers and they have their own field. Wait. 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 Is this because it's been in my pocket the whole time? Ah. Right. <clears throat> Sorry about that, everyone. Seems I picked up some flowers at some point and... It was just a uh, mobile anti-magic thing. I guess if there was, you know, you could take those with you if you wanted to and you could throw them down near mages to silence them. And, uh, sorry about that. Right, up we go. Let's get going. I wonder how many people were watching this going, more for the flowers in your pocket. <laughs> Listen, these things happen, okay. And there's no further place to ascend to. Wait, what's that? Guiding light. Wish I had a bag of holding. What was that? Just a, um, a scroll? Guiding light. Picked up one guiding light. It's a ring that gives a light cantrip. Let's give that to you, Shadowheart. Do you already have light? I got you a ring, my love. What? <gasps> a button to the basement for putting on the ring. That was cool. Still alive, so that's progress. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this part of Baldur's Gate 3. You'll find out what's in the basement in the next episode, which I'll be furiously editing right now. If you want to get updates on when it's coming or when it's out, make sure you follow me on Instagram and check out all of my socials and links below this video. Until next time, good night.